Hello everyone, I just wanted to uh, show you the end result of a little uh, dumpster diving mission, you might say. Although that's more of a figurative term than not. Um, <laughs> nobody actually climbed into anybody's garbage cans. Alrighty, um, we've got one, two, and three main boards. They all seem to take DDR memory. Um, none of them seem to be SD or anything like that. They all seem to take DDR, so that indicates that they are fairly new boards, anywhere between one and three years old. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing any SATA, or SETA, some people like to call it controller on this one, which uh, just so happens to be an E-Machines um, AMD Athlon XP processor. Um, there was no memory or hard drive or anything um, in it, but fairly recent unit, but as far as I could tell, because there's no onboard SATA, it seems, and it's probably more like three years old. Maybe four. Now, this one, we've got the uh, extra USB port slots in a bit more of a modernized fashion. Uh, we've got the SATA ports here. SATA1 and SATA2, so we've got that. Yeah. There we are. So that looks like a pretty recent board. You've got your PCI slots, your AGP slot. Um, this one comes with a processor. I'm not exactly sure how fast. Same with this. Although you can kind of see the green out the side of the chip. So I know that AMD's um, older processors were still more of a brownish. The uh, newer ones started getting more of a greenish. So and this has got to be at least one point something gigahertz. Um, this one, of course, did not come with a uh, CPU, but it is uh, socket 462. And as far as I can tell, there are no SATA slots or anything like that. We've got two, P uh, three PCI, one AGP. So this is probably uh, two or three year old. Uh, board as well. Um, other com components include this uh, really nice 400 watt power supply. Now at this point I still have no clue if any of this actually boots up. Um, I'm actually like, about to spray it off. Got a bunch of fans and cables and even a floppy drive. And this is a standard case. We've got a DVD uh, reader and a uh, CD burner. And um, this is one of the more expensive, um, fanciful cases. Um, idiots love throwing really neat stuff out. Um, this is even a creative case. Um, this is like a $150 case here, something like that. Um, let's see. This should be able to open up unless it's key locked. If it is, I've got one of those. Those things are pretty much universal, which kind of makes them pointless. And, of course, um, i got to put these aside for the moment. And we have the case cover to this case. And all this still needs to be dusted off. But, um... You're about to be able to tell that this is one of the more fancier designer cases. Just a second here. Okay. There we are. See? It's a see-through case. Very expensive case and some moron threw it out. People just have no damn idea. 
But that's all right, because people like me benefit from those people who have absolutely no damn idea. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to fit in there. I'll have to put it in the other one. Which is no big deal. I'm just sticking all this stuff together for now. I've got to clean off the outside cases before I bring it in and wipe off those DVD drives and such. So yeah, um, I have no idea if any of these work yet or boot up or any of that, but I will in the near future. But for now, just thought I'd share.